not very hard at all, is it? So it's really important, at least in my philosophy, to make sure we get outside of your comfort zone. Because guys, you might never hit this particular technique in a match, but it puts that motion in your brain. And you never know when you're gonna get the right feel and that's gonna come out. Kyle's giving you crazy pressure, and you're like, oh, I remember that crazy coach. You ran around and yelled and screamed, you said, I'm gonna get pressure, maybe outside stuff. And then it starts working for you. Um, I'm gonna talk real quick about one of the things I think that's missing in wrestling. Um, we're all like, you guys are crazy, right? You know that, right? What's the date today? I don't know. Is it the 19th? Is today the 19th? It's August the 19th, and you guys are in the wrestling room in the middle of nowhere in Iowa trying to get better. You're crazy. You know that, right? That's a good thing, though. That's a good thing. So people like you guys that are really crazy, it's really easy to look at life 100% or 0%. I'm really good at those two things. I'm good at being in all the way or none of the way. You know what's really hard for me? 50%. That's really tough. You might say, this is different than everything I've ever heard. It's like guaranteed God, 100% sacrifice, all that stuff, right? Well, here's the trick, guys. Yes, it's 100% physical sacrifice, 100%. Give everything you got. But don't make wrestling a disease. You say, what do you mean by that? Make it a disease. One of the things I think that's plaguing our society, it's called narcissism. I am the center of the universe. Whatever happens in my life is the most important thing. Because we have so many things around us that give us that satisfaction, right? Whatever my opinion is, whether it's right, wrong, or indifferent, I can put it out there. People will like it or not like it. Comment on it, not comment on it. Anything. I'm eating whatever I eat for lunch. I can take a picture of it, show the whole world what I'm eating for lunch, right? All that creates a sense of I am the center of the universe. What I do is the most important thing. So what happens is everything you start doing becomes life or death. There's 7 billion people on earth. Seven billion people, that is such a ridiculously big number. Your wrestling career, your win-loss record, it doesn't affect very many people. It doesn't. So in the grand scheme of life in the world, how successful you are at wrestling, it's just a small thing in your life, tiny little thing. And this is coming from a guy that I'll die on a wrestling mat. I hope I do. That's one of my, I want to. If I have to go, I want to die with my wrestling shoes on. But wrestling is such a small thing in your life. So how do you find a balance, right? That's what my whole last two years has been about. Finding balance in my life. How do I find balance by sacrificing everything I got? I'm trying to beat Penn State. It's probably the best team that's ever wrestled. That takes a whole lot of work. Ridiculous amount of hours. But how do I not make it a disease so it takes away from my family and my enjoyment and my soul? How do I find that balance so I don't get obsessed with it? And the only thing i found, guys, that helps you do it is give back. That's what people will remember. People don't remember how much you win. People don't remember what you're wearing. People don't remember the car you drive. People don't remember how much money's in your bank account. They remember how you make it feel. That's what people, if you don't believe me, think about your best friend in the world. Best friend in the world, like I love this dude, I'd die for him. Might even be your brother or sister, mom or dad. What'd they wear last Tuesday? I don't have a clue. I had no idea what they wore last Tuesday, right? But how they make you feel on day-to-day -day interactions, you can remember something that happened 10 years ago. You'll remember stuff that happened 30 years ago when you're old enough. So how do you guys that are driven, motivated to be the best wrestler in the world keep balance? Give back. Help the people that are around you. And then it's my belief when you help other people around you guys, it comes back to you. It's going to come back to you and it's going to make you better too. See, Mike could even look at it from a selfish standpoint, right? Then I think it defeats the purpose. But your practice partners, your buddies, the people you're getting better with, they're not going to remember how good you are at wrestling. When you get back with them 20 years from now, you're not going to talk about the people you beat. They'll talk about the crazy workouts you did. Man, you got me over the hump. I was having a bad day. All that stuff. That's the most important thing. And that's how you can make a big jump, not only in your wrestling career, but also your personal life. So stay hungry. Stay driven. Push yourself to a crazy limit but also find balance. One of the people I love uh, the most on the planet is my head coach, my boss, Doug Schwab. And this year, he's made, I mean, just a ridiculously big impression on me. He just had two twins. Like, I can't imagine the amount of work that takes. The amount of work that you have to put in to have these two little babies that depend on you for everything. Everything you do, they're gonna die, or they're not gonna make it. And I would see that dude come in, and he's like, 
walking dead zombie coming into the locker room because he probably got 30 minutes of sleep in the last 19 weeks. And dude, he is so driven and focused that he'll give himself one of these and slam them out and do and go work out with Max Thompson for two and a half hours, get him better. But then he's got enough balance to be able to step back and go, okay, I'm going to go home and be with my family now. It's made such a huge impression on him to realize you can have both. The most motivated, driven guy I've ever been around, except maybe Fred, has the balance that he cares about his family more than he cares about his career. That's made such a huge impression on me and something that I want to model and emulate too. So don't lose that. Dude, you're focused, man. I love it. I love how focused you are. I'm going to remember your name for a while. Not because you're a good wrestler, but it's how focused you are. How you made me feel. Like you were paying attention. You were asking questions. You made me feel great. I appreciate that. Don't lose it. But as you keep motivated and stay driven, help this dude. You from Fort Collins with the rest of these guys? Help these guys around you. All you guys that are here, man, from Colorado, it's awesome. Like, it's great that you're here. Help each other and you'll do some amazing things, not only in your wrestling career, but also in your life. Fred, these guys scrap now? So they do They want to scrap, we're going to let the fur fly. Let's scrap a little bit. Let's go grab a quick splash of water. And look, look, I look for independence in wrestlers, so I'm not going to structure it, right? I'm not going to be like, okay, you wrestle this guy, and we're going to go for 30 seconds, and then we're going to take a break, and then you're going to grab this guy. There's so many unthink, like so many things you can't control in a match. Learn how to deal with it. It's all where it works, but you'll figure it out. Go grab a splash of water, grab some ice, start wrestling, change partners when you want to change partners.